Hello, I am Lindsay Parrish with Klamath Film, and you've just watched Inheritance, a sobering drama about addressing the prospects of breast cancer in our Northern Shorts category. With us today is the film's director, Shelley Lipkin. Shelley, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. So, first of all, what was the inspiration behind making a film about breast cancer? Did this come from personal experiences or possibly individuals that you've known that have experienced cancer? Well, it, it actually came from, uh, I'm, I'm a, I teach a lot. I teach film acting and theater acting and screenwriting. And one of my uh, students had approached me with this, a short script that she wrote and wanted some critique on it. And it was Inheritance. And we we started talking about it, and I noticed it was really well written, and I had some input on it. But she did a pretty fabulous job right off the bat, and it was her personal experiences with that, which she uh-huh. went, and uh, and she did go through that with her family. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so I, I immediately identified how heartfelt the writing was and her experiences because of that. And uh, so she approached me and said, would you want to direct it? And I'd done a a lot of theater uh, in the past, a lot of theater directing, but and and had directed for years, all my students in class for film but I had never directed a film. And I thought, okay, I'll dive in. (laughs) Sweating (laughs) bullets, thinking the old imposter thing. Do I really know what I'm doing with this? (laughs) And so um, I I just dove in and, and took the mantle and went with it. And that's all she wrote. I love it. You said that this was one of your students. Was she also one of the actresses in the film? Yeah, yeah. Theora played the lead in the film. Wow. Yeah, she plays uh, Janine. And And her performance was so heartfelt. Now I see that it just came from personal experience. It was her just reliving what she had already done. It was her, yeah. Wow, that's That's incredible. Yeah. And, and I don't know how accurately it portrayed her sister and how much of that was true, but whatever it was that she did, she, you know, made it work. Mm. She, yeah. Incredible. Well, this film is so heartfelt and from the dichotomy between the two sisters to coping with the loss of a parent, it is it's also throws in little subtle quirks that really add to their personalities, like the eating of the ice cream with a fork instead of a spoon. So was yeah, that right. decision intentional in the development of characters to subtly show their personalities rather than just being at the forefront of the dialogue? I think what you said, it, it what it did was it differentiated their personalities. We, we had discussed this. We wanted uh, the character of Janine to be the girl that pushed limits, the girl that didn't do things by, you know, the rules and wore the leather jacket, dated indiscriminately, you know, um, was a slob. And, and so, and she was living with her very type A personality sister. So you would have the juxtaposition of those two worlds, which also played into the juxtaposition of the way they took this horrific information that they were given. And uh, and so eating with the fork was in the script, but it was really to pinpoint how at that point she was oblivious to everything anyway, in those moments after finding out and really didn't care what there was and would grab anything that made her feel good at that moment. Absolutely. I can't imagine with the death of her mom and then that news as well, just the surrealness that must have come along with it. She might not have even been feeling like she was 
in her life, you know, almost just seeing it playing as a movie herself. So those sort of like little, little character points that you did, that's, that's exactly how I would imagine going through that situation to be. So with, Um, with COVID wreaking havoc on the film industry, have you had a lot of opportunities to showcase this film in front of audiences? And if so, what has your feedback been? Well, no, we hadn't. Um, The film was shot is almost five years ago now. And uh, it, at that point, we had just started submitting to festivals and and uh, and had a lot of response at the beginning. And as everything in the film industry, it takes forever. Um, <laughs> but uh, then COVID hit. And, and with the start of that, there was nothing we could do. We were also in the... Uh, the McMinnville Film Festival. We couldn't get out to that either because of COVID. So everything's been virtual, which is frustrating and as it is for everyone in the film industry. Absolutely. My writing partner and I were just talking about it. We just finished, I'm a screenwriter and we were working on a project uh, and it basically no one's producing things that are currently being developed now simply because they've got a backlog right. things that they were ready to go and then everything got shelved so yeah mm-hmm. yeah well so this film is about a very serious topic but there's always usually some fun behind the scenes on set were there any bloopers and or any really memorable moments from making this film? You know, I racked my brain on this one. We were on about a two day shoot with this. And and there wasn't really, there weren't any outrageous things. Probably the most outrageous thing was food. And my wife was a manager of a California pizza kitchen. And trying to keep the budget down. So we were trying to figure out ways of doing it. And finally, I went to her and I begged her. I said, please, please, could you get California Pizza Kitchen to just donate some pizzas? And they were kind enough to do it. So, it, and the pizzas are incredible there. Uh, and I'm a huge it was, fan. It was, it was wonderful. So that was, it was, was outrageous stuff that happened, but there was great food. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That, and that's really all you need. <laughs> you yeah. know? As long as craft service and catering are on par, then that's all you need. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, it, after years and years of acting, the first question my wife would always ask me was, how is craft services? <laughs> and, and based on that, we, you know, talk about the film. The craft service sucked, you know, something was really good with <laughs> that production. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Well, I am a huge CPK fan. I, I cannot pass by yeah. one without stopping in. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. <laughs> and we lived in LA where the very first CPK started at the Beverly Center. Mm-hmm. Actually, yep. I've somewhere. been to that one. Yeah. And, and we would go there. We had no inkling. We would be moving to Portland and she would be managing one one day. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Great. how fun. Yeah. So Shelly, what do you hope that people take away from watching Inheritance? Well, I think if anything, this film is about acceptance and how we cope. Because I mean, face it, look, we're dealing with the past year and a half, two years. Uh, this virtual and insane world that we live in now that I think has pushed everyone to the limit. Mm -hmm. And I think something like this is just a metaphor for that, how you take an impossible thing and basically you turn your head around and you figure out how you personally can deal with it And I think we get very destructive sometimes in the way we decide to cope with things. And sometimes we 
rise above it. And I think it's a combination of all those things, sometimes simultaneously. And I think if anything, that's what this film is about, how it's that roller coaster ride of uncontrolled emotions that hit you when you're faced with your existential crisis of, of whatever is going on in your life and how it pushes you up against a wall and it reveals who you really are. And I think that that's what the film's about. I think for me, uh, I'm not sure if Theora was thinking that when she wrote it, but I think we all agreed that that's the route it would go. And that's in my perspective in directing it. I always think of the human dilemma and, and what we're up against and our behavior. And, and I think if anything makes, to me, a film successful, is what that generates in the film, that conflict of human nature when we're pushed up against a wall and, and how it reveals us. Absolutely, and that was absolutely conveyed in your film just beautifully. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for being part of the Klamath Independent Film Festival. Again, oh, sure. Inheritance will screen on Sunday, September 19th at 3.15 p.m. in our Northern Shorts category and available all week on demand. Shelley, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Lindsay, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.